Among Us is sus. <laughs> Hudson, are you are you okay? Uh, I I lost out my life. I've dedicated my life to Among Us. I have. <laughs> Take care of my mom for me, will you? Uh, I, no, I will not. That's kind of sucks. <laughs> no, you, you, you dumbass. You awoken him. I, I free. I got the moves like Jagger. Dude, if you die, that's gonna be kind of sus. I'm gonna have to vote you out. <laughs> what is, is that the sound of your life span ticking down? Finally, after many years, and after the after the descent of the dissolving, dissolving of amongst us, Hudson was free. His soul was finally pure and ready to go to uh, Gamer Go Bathwater Heaven. Earth was free from the deadly grasps of amongst us. Maybe now, quietness and peace will prosper throughout the land of the blue earth. As the sun sets, as the uh, shit, as the sun sets, and the uh, and the image of among us imposter gets away. Finally, a new dawn will begin for the planet Earth. This would be the end of the story of the Sussy. The Sussy arc is complete. Earth is saved. Hudson sacrifices life to Among Us. Now, there's peace. Bottom text. Wait. Maybe. No. It couldn't be. He's dead. He's been long gone. Something, something resonating within the soul of Among Us. Something evil. Something testosterone. Something, something was coming. Haha, <laughs> come. Something. <laughs> this is the evil force that has plagued Earth from the beginning. It caused. It, it started World War One. Is that? It was the cause of the assassination of John F. Kennedy. It started World War Two. It bombed the Twin Towers and started the 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 Syrian and Russian War of 1971. What was this evil? You might ask. 1819. Well, let's just say, let's go. Let's go. An onslaught of 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 the baby is spread over across the earth. No one would be safe. Its deadly terror would take the place of Among Us. The earth is not free anymore. This was the end. The end. The the culmination of the earth itself had come. Everything would be destroyed. And the only thing that I would live is one simple sentence. Let's go. Some a savior, maybe. Something, something good or evil. No one can determine. But this force might be able to stop this evil. Who is it? Who is this? Who is this being? Who could stop the evils of the baby? Well, 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 this person is the savior of Earth itself. It had come from the ancient ages and has lived in the shadows and been the protector of Earth from the beginning. And now, with this evil force, it has been awoken. Please welcome... ...the troll face. As the force- as the League of the Troll Face, uh, went towards the baby, he thought that he was invincible. He smirked at, at their braveness and their boldness. But with the with determination, the they were able to stop him. The baby let, went out one last, put one put his two fingers on his head, and said one last sentence. Let's go. But before he could finish that sentence, the leader of the troll, the leader of the troll face, Nikolai, struck him down with one final blow. Finally, this is the troll ending. 
uh, one man stood in the in the distance of evil, ready to ready to defeat all. His name made known by none, but will be forever known as all. Sam's Undertale stood in the distance, ready for anything that uh, faces him. Sam let out a smirk of boldness as the troll-faced squad leapt towards him. Boldness together, the three went towards him. Sans cackled. He said, "Do you want to have a bad time?" He picked them all up with, with his with his uh, uh, un, uh, with his bending magnetic force and threw them against the wall. One down, two to go. The second member, the second member of the troll squad, uh, the, the second member of the troll squad, looked up with evil and with determination. He ran towards him with he ran towards him with his gamer gold bathwater shield in one hand and his penis in his dildo in his dildo spear in the other. He ran towards him, pierced his soul into sand. Said loud and laugh as he noticed that he missed. Instead, he he, sta he stabbed through Papyrus' famous spaghetti. Sands then picked up. Sands then, Sands then uh, uh, behind, uh, suddenly out of nowhere, two gaster blocks appeared and blasted the second one apart into pieces, disintegrating him into ashes. They thought this would be end. One da two down, one last left. The leader of them all stood, stood strong, stood bold, looked Sands dead in the eye, the, into Sands' two bold blue eyes. He saw death. He saw evil. He saw megalomania. Whoa. Sands did a shrug as he, as he dodged all of his attacks, and then suddenly grabbed the leader with his hands, ready to strike him down. This may be the end, but wait. Something. Someone. Someone was there to help him. The fo uh, uh, four men stepped out of the darkness. Who were they? It was Boingo Boingo with the little girl squad. <laughs> Suddenly, the four threw little girls at Sands. He could not dodge them. He was too intimidated by their hotness. Suddenly, he let go of, of Trollface. He was too distracted by the, by the hotness, by the sexiness of the little girls. And then suddenly, that gave the Trollface squad a time to build a spear out of one of the little girls and pierce the Sands heart. This is the little girl sending. <laughs> Live stream. No, his name is Tom Nook. Or Sam Nook. Tom, Tom, Nook, Tom Nook assembled an army of Tom, other Tom Nooks. And then they all threw fishing rods at all, all, all the Oingo Boingo squad and sent them to jail. The trophies were stared. He couldn't stand against them. He, they were too strong. There were too many of them. But wait. Something. Something was happening. Wait. What was this? Something. Someone appeared from distance. Maybe this wouldn't be the end. Maybe someone would help them. Wait. He felt something. Felt a deep feeling. Someone was appearing. Wait. Someone appeared from a portal. His name is unknown. But we know that he will be able to stop these evil. Finally, this would be the true end game of Earth. This would be the final battle. Someone appeared from the distance. A godlike form. No one knew who he was. Until he popped out of the portal. He, he laid a smirk at- he made a smirk at the Tom Nukes. They stared in fright- they stared in frightening- in frightening stances. Wiggled at their legs, dropped their weapon- their fishing rods. The troll- the troll face member stood there, in awe, as he saw their lord appear. Who was this man? Well, he spoke- this man spoke one word, and everyone knew who he was. With the with uh, with all uh, three infinity gauntlets, well, uh, uh, four infinity gauntlets, uh, five actually six. Uh, one on his head, one on his uh, two on his two arms, two on his uh, uh, two on his feet, and one on his penis. Then, with, with all his might, with all his might, he snapped all fingers. Earth was erased. Everything would be destroyed. Nothing would stand. Quiet, so spread over the face of the earth. Just quiet. Nothing was there. No Will Smith. No Wingo Boingo. No Troll Face. Nothing. Maybe.
be this will be the end. Wait. For the final act of this story, someone appeared. The troll faced man awoken in a mist of light. He saw something. Something in the distance. What was that? Could it be? His long awaited friend. He thought he died in the Vietnam War, but he survived. He appeared with glory. His red, his red, but his red tie and blaring brown fur. Who was this? Well, it's Cocky Kong. This is the black person ending. But wait, one person stood waiting for a fight which he wouldn't find for a little while but then he was met by his this man his name was Freddy Fizzbear and stood in the way of Freddy Fizzbear was the one and only Jack Black who was stood by his best friend Wait, Freddy Fazbear looks. He was. He didn't know where he was. He knew he wouldn't stand much of a chance because someone appeared from a distant portal. Who was it? Well, it was Doom Guy. He appeared with a shotgun in one hand and a furry head in the other. He ran. To he ran towards Freddy. Freddy Fazbear shot a shotgun. Put a shotgun into his mouth and blasted him right off. Then, kind of walked away. And then open the portal. Through the portal, you can see where the nature was, and it was Furricon. Everyone was confused. This is so sudden, so so quiet. No one knew what happened. Everyone was shocked. But wait, no, it, it couldn't be. He's dead. He something appeared. When they heard a song from the distance. What was it? Well. Where's Mr. Beast? He paid off, he paid off all of the, he paid off Donkey Kong. He never went off. They all walked away. It was just troll face. About to fight against the, for Mr. Beast. Sponsored Mr. by Beast. Honey! Yes. Before Mr. Beast started, he, he grabbed him, he grabbed a sword made, made of uh, bars of gold. And he grabbed, and he grabbed a shield made of Chris's pelt. Before he, before he charged at him, he said, this video, uh, before reading this video, this video is sponsored by Honey. And then, he charged at Trollface, and plunged his, 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 his gold sword into his chest. Trollface is gone. This is the Mr. Beat ending. It is all quiet now. This truly is the worst ending possible. Quiet spread across the land. N everyone knew there would be nothing left to do. Nothing left to, cho to choose to do. This would be the end. Left. But, Mr. Beast. Oh, what happened after this? Nothing really. Just Mr. Beast. And it was then, it was all quiet. Finally, this is the last one. Someone came in from the spotlight. This person knew that they were powerful. They were great. So... They would be the one to claim the glory of Earth. And they were. What's with a yeah. uh, Papyrus became gay and then married, Bull and married Terry, Terry Cruz. And then he won. Alright, at the end. This is the queer ending. Did you forget? <laughs> wait, wait, what? 
What was that? Big Chungus. No. He runs from the distance. And he, all he, he just sat there and he just, he just kept singing Big Chungus until the end of time. Yeah, Big Chungus would claim his glory. He was awoken. Deep in eternal slumber. Suddenly, everyone died. They were just hitting it, uh, dash, as if they got snapped by Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet. This is truly the true ending of this world. Alright, we're gonna have time.